Bus, bus, bus stop. All right, what is up, everybody? JP Hussey here, owner of the Hussey Team Mortgage Advisors, with this week's Hus Bus Bus Stop. I hope everybody is well. A uh, very dreary day out in the Philadelphia area. It's been really nice, and then you have these cloudy skies with a little bit of rain. The Phillies and the Sixers are not playing well. It's a whole hot topic right now, but anyway. Let's get on with some important information. All right, so today I want to talk a bit about loans must be uh, saleable. It's a weird word, right? But what that means is they are going to be for sale and investors or people want are going to want to buy these loans, right? They're investing in these loans, right? It all goes back to loans have an interest rate. There's money to be made. People want those. It's a big thing. Mortgage-backed securities, the whole thing, right? I'm not going to get into it crazy because even that's way above my head. But let's look at it from a simplistic view of what a loan is and why a lender, a mortgage broker, an underwriter, they need certain documents, whether you agree with it or not, whether how annoying it is or not, you need to get them, okay? So let's talk about this real quick. So what happens is you go to buy a house, you have a loan, you give all these crazy documents, Okay, um, it's you close, and now that lender has this big line of credit. Let's just say for easy uh, million dollars. Okay, but a loan might be five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars, right? They, the lender, funds the loan because there's actually money involved. I think people forget about this. There's actual money from this person or entity over to this one to you to pay for the house, the whole thing, right? So a lot of money being moved around. So it's a million dollar line, six hundred thousand dollar mortgage. That gets paid. Now that money's just sitting there, right? Or on that line of credit. There's they have to get that off their line of credit to go fund more loans, right? So what happens is that loan will be packaged up in most situations and put in a bunch of other loans, big bundle, and sold on the secondary market to investors. Now, these investors will only buy these loans if they're ranked a certain way, like A plus, A, B, whatever it is, depending on like credit score, how much equity, a whole a, lot, a whole lot of things. But there's certain guidelines that these investors will only take these loans if they fit in this box of these certain guidelines, right? So it's not like an underwriter or mortgage per LO or or a lender. They're just like, hey, yeah, we're just going to be, you know, mean and we're going to ask for this document. No, there's a checklist that have to be followed so this loan can get off their line of credit so it can be sold to investors, Okay. So if you really want to be pissed at people, it's all the back-end investors and all the guidelines that were made. That just is what it is. You know, and I can go on a rant here, but they never have to talk to a client and say, hey, you're not getting your home, right? You know, the, the loan officer takes all the heat there, right? But it's just using guidelines that they're seeing behind the scenes, right? There's always some gray area with guidelines, but there's a lot of black and white too. So the purpose of this is to kind of know what's going on, how you're getting your the money to buy your house. All the back ends, right? I think it's going to make it a lot easier for you as a client if you kind of understand that, and then you won't have as much confrontation with a loan officer or an underwriter because you know that they're not trying to do this to you either. They just have to do their job so that the whole process can keep moving. And if there is no process anymore, then how you get money to go buy your house, right? Unless you have a bunch of cash, right? So it's a big thing here. So be nice, you know, just follow the. You know, go get the documents, follow, you know, what you got to do. Just go through it and figure it out. Because here's the deal. If a loan's not saleable, it's stuck on a lender's line of credit, and they can't sell it, these lenders can go out of business, right? They have no more lines of credit to, you know, or they have a bad loan. They have to buy it back. They have to hold it. Not not cool. They're out of business. Lenders start going out of business. That's less options for the consumer, and that's probably worse uh, uh, for the consumer because there's not as much to go around, not as much competition, all right? So think about it. From a long game here, just get the documents that are asked for, and it's going to make everyone's life easier, and it's actually good for the bigger picture. If you have any questions, please contact me at any time or my team, and have a great day. Post, 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 stop.